you know, hypnosis is about focusing attention. And, you know, in, in the same way that other experiential approaches, whether they be mindfulness, guided imagery, visualization, relaxation processes, breathing techniques, anything that focuses the person, that relaxes the person, makes them a more receptive student makes it easier mm. to learn, makes it easier, you know, mm -hmm. the, 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 you learn more easily when you're focused, you learn uh -huh. more easily when you're relaxed. Uh -huh. That in itself is compelling enough. But the reality is every therapy uses suggestion to introduce new ideas and new possibilities. Mm -hmm. as, soon, as soon as you say to somebody, look at it this way, you're offering a suggestion to adopt an alternative perspective. Mm -hmm. as, as soon as you say to somebody, focus on your breathing, you're using suggestion to direct this person's attention to a particular okay. process, in this case, breathing. So hypnosis is the study of suggestion. It's the packaging of communications mm. in such a way as to increase their value and their utility. How can I make my ideas more practical, more usable for people? Mm -hmm. How can I introduce the possibility of ideas becoming and behaviors becoming more reflexive? One of the things that is shared by hypnosis, by mindfulness, by other approaches are these spontaneous, seemingly spontaneous transformations that take place. 